the first thing I see on my journey today is a rainbow and it's in the direction of where we're going. This could be the day we find the stone of destiny. Yes, it's definitely pointing over to the northeast. That's where we're heading. Quite excited about this one today. Let's go find the stone of destiny. Right, good morning everybody. Today's space adventure, we haven't actually introduced where we're going to be going yet, bro. This is terrible. Mm. Today we are going to Kincardine Castle to look for the remains of the castle itself and also there might just be some signs of the Stone of Destiny being there because it was hidden there by King Edward on his way from stealing the stone. They brought it down that way and they stayed there for a little bit. So we reckon that maybe somebody went in there and swapped the stone over. So we're going to be looking for Today's some... the day we could actually find the stone. Yes, indeed it could be. And yes. then we're also going to go... And... There's been this um, rumour going around that... Um, <laughs> what? No, hang on. And also, there has been some confusion about a place called Green Castle or Green Cairn Castle. Now, somebody says in one book it said that Green Castle is down here, but the other one, I think it's up here. This is the one we want to go and try and find, but we're going to go look for this one as well. So we're kind of heading up this way now, and we're going to a few places there. Right, let's get on with it. Lovely day. Right, folks, well, we seem to have arrived at Kincardine Castle, but the only thing is, it's up there in this field over these barbed wire fences. There's nowhere to really park, and it doesn't look like there's going to be much up there to see. Um, and it's across these private fields. We've already had somebody come out and sort of drive past us and look at us in a funny manner. So I think you might just abandon this one. As I said, it doesn't look like there's very much up there either, to tell you the truth. I mean, you can see it up there, but I just think we're going to abandon this one and head on to the, the Green Cairn Castle. So, apologies for that. Never mind. We shall carry on. See what Bro has to say for himself, shall we? What do you think, Bro? What? Just abandon this one. Well, I think so. It's, it doesn't seem to be an awful lot. Can I? No, that's what I well, folks, here we are at our second stop today. We should be, according to this GPS today, oh, it shouldn't be pointing that. It should be pointing the other way. Anyway, um, we're heading into there. Would you believe it? Doesn't look very good. What do you reckon, bro? No. Nope. Down and around. This, according to this, it's sort of that direction. Oh. This has just got another fail written all over. I think it's getting windy. Oh, my door's shut. I think I should park in that lay by. Right, folks. The reason we've come here to this Green Cairn Castle or whatever it's called is to tell you the story about Lady Fenella and her very clever assassination of this chap called um, King Kenneth the Third. Now what happened here, I'm gonna to have to read it from here because my memory's pathetic, all right? This is the story that's in this book, discovering the... Oh, I'll just that? stop the spizz thing, hang on. It's okay though, now listen to this, I'm gonna read this. It's like Jack and Ori, spizz and Ori, right? The road to the Clattering Brig winds on round Hunter Hill until the Divinely Burn appears on the right. Just across this burn, which is supposed to be just over there, at the foot of Strathnella Hill is Green Cairn Castle, where Kenneth III is said to have been assassinated in 994 AD by Lady Fenella. And according to legend, she committed the murder in a most ingenious manner. She arranged for a wonderful piece of machinery to be installed in one of the rooms of a castle. In the centre of the floor, there was a statue of the king, an excellent likeness, holding in his hand a golden apple studded with precious stones. Now when King Kenneth III arrived at the castle, she took him to his statue and told him to take the apple, which he did. As soon as he lifted it, he was killed by a shower of arrows, mechanically fired from crossbows hidden around the walls. Wow, how was that all about then? That's brilliant, isn't it's it? It's like, um, what's his name, Indiana Jones yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, so that's the story, so that's why we're going over there to find this castle. Now Lady Fenella, was she not in another one of our videos? She was indeed. To she, do with... she jumped off the bridge, remember? Yes, that's it's right, yes. Fenella Dane, that's where the big waterfall is, isn't it? Great book. Duncan Fraser, Discovering Angus and Merns. That's Thank what I need you. to see. Right, here we are then. We're going to go down here through this path which we've discovered. Um, the castle seems to be over in that region over there somewhere, so... There's nothing else for it but just to get going. In we go. Oh, that stuff in it, that bloody ouch. It's the ouch stuff, bro, oh, be careful. Oh, right, oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Watch out, here we go. Right, it's a bit smelly here. Now see the thing is, I don't know whether this is... It's got actually crossed the water, didn't it? It, said. it looks like it. So, Ooh, this is, this is really, really intrepid stuff here from Spiz today. I think we should follow the fence down there yeah, and go down right. to that river and see what's it down there, shall we? Yeah. Right, here we go. But it's a, a nice, uh, a nice aspect. So somewhere in there is the castle. Uh, we're looking for the remains of Green Cane Castle. Let's go. Oh, I hear buzzards yeah. already, yes. Now, the reason I'm not sure about this uh, GPS is that I had to work out the coordinates um, and try and pinpoint exactly where the castle was, but I'm not actually sure if it's, it's right. And we haven't used this for ages, so it might be rusty. I don't know. Oh, already we've come across a oh, hazard yeah. here. Oh, we need the big thick trousers. Right? Yes, the these, well, I've got my thermals on, so I'm okay, I think. Well, you should do, bro. Honestly, just yeah. just buy things instead of saying that. I think I'm I going know. to buy things. Just do it. it was, well, it's worth it. Tell you. Much excitement here. Bro said he saw a black cat. It was either a black cat or a goat. <laughs> it, just, it just ran right across there to the water. Didn't Did it? Did it? Actually, yeah. Wow. Oh, much excitement. Yeah, I mean, look at it. It's a perfect place for animals to be in here. Look. Right. We'll keep our eye tuned for this. Mm. Well, this is very exciting for Spiz here because we really are on the trail, if you're unknown here, and we are in some really, whoops, it is he, un, uh, unknown land. And it's very, oh, it's very steep, bro, look. Oh, it's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, Do you think we should go back and try yeah. it? Oh, for goodness sake, right. That's more, can we get down there? It's a bit bumpy with the steps, but <laughs> I don't know. Should we just go for it? Well, no. We could traverse. Yeah, we'll be all right. Kind of come down this way a bit. Keep it filming just in case bro falls. Ooh. <laughs> oh. You can, bro, be careful. Don't bang into me. Through here and over this tree. Ooh. There we are. Well, I found an egg or something. What's this? Signs of nature all over the place here today. Right, I think we're down, bro. Um, almost. Oh, we'll find a way. There we go, we've made it. Easy. Look at the buzzard up. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Look at that, just hovering in the sky. Right. Made it. We have our first major hazard. No, oh, I'm just going to go for it, bro. Sod it. Oh, made it. <laughs> well done. Right. Well, it looks like we've been foiled by the river. We're going to head down the river a little bit, see if we can find a, a crossing point. Why is this big cement thing here? Look at this. Oh. Crazy. Well, it looks like there might be a, a tree falling over. We can maybe get over that way or... Now, somewhere up there we reckon is the castle, so... Oh, there's another... Oh, no, bro, look. Oh, it's double one. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Goodness me. Right. Oh, goodness me. Yes. Honestly, look. Well, we found something kind of, Oh! Something, uh, an old kind of pipe. Going across there. Damn it, it seems to be foiled again, though. This is. Here. Damn it, bro. Mm. Right, well, we're using our spiz intelligence and uh, we reckon the castle's up there on that bit. There's a massive high hill, um, which is where they would obviously build a castle. It's just trying to get over this Diwali burn, which has just proven to be the, the hazard. You just can't get across it at all anywhere. Drat. 
Right, well, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get across that way, so we're going to go back along and see if we can get across the other way. But there's definitely signs of, of sort of, there's walls and bits of stones and masonry and all sorts of stuff down that way, so... But as you can see, the knoll is right up there. You tell. It is indeed. Right. Well, further to Bros, thinking he saw a, a black cat, we've come across these uh, paw prints. Although they're quite close together, so that just suggests something small. Another one just there, so you never know. Mm. Something small and black on the prowl here. Yeah, there's more from there, look. Mm. I'm like a, a hunter tracker, aren't I? Yes. Bear <laughs> grills. Indeed. Right, anyway. How you doing, bro? Fine. Frustrated at the moment. It is, rather. Yeah. Not to worry though. Right, well I tried to get us up there and I failed, so now we'll, we'll let Bro pick the routes now. This is Bro's part of the video. Right then folks, well we've come across a tree here and a tree here. Well, looks like, looks like the only Way across, really. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, yeah, why not? There's nowhere to go, bro. No. It's bro been very daring for once, but unfortunately, the bridge seems to end, and there's no way in. Right. The other one looks better, bro. I think the other one looks better. Yeah, oh yeah, there's a path, right, so there is. Bro, I think that one there looks better. That one there, doesn't it? There's nothing beyond that. Well, oh, crikey, look at bro. Very dairy. Yeah, the other one there looks a bit... Careful. There's a snake. Oh, bro. <laughs> He's made it. Right, we've abandoned the tree idea because it just doesn't seem to be any way getting to the... You can get across it. But it was the... Uh, the coming off of the end just didn't seem to be very... Uh, secure. So we're going further along the river now to see if uh, there's any other crossing points. It's not looking good though, folks. Well, folks, unfortunately, this is going to just be a video of us Ooh. shaking our heads and going, oh, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't look good, people, but you never know. We're going to give the log one more look and see what we think. Not another splash. Yeah, because it's getting cold now, the clouds are coming over. We've been mucking around here for the last hour trying to get across here and it's just looking like it could we'll be at the top of the just be a stone or something, a rock. Could be a path and a, a car park beside it or something. There's a path, so obviously there must be something yeah, up there. Yeah, there's a little goat path or something. So, right, we'll give it one more shot and see what happens. Okay, folks, stay with us. Thank you.